Rangers themselves only needed one goal to see off Dundalk. Stephen Rice on target after just 11 minutes. Joy on Bridley for Rice after scoring against the side managed by his old friend Sean Connor. Or welcome back uh, once again. Bray Wanderers and Dundalk both suffered defeat in the midweek series of games and they were anxious to get back on the winning trail at the Carlisle Grounds on Friday evening. There was a 4pm Good Friday kickoff for this one. Hugh Cahill reports. Bray Wanderers recorded their fourth draw of the Premier Division campaign but will be ruining a series of missed chances as four times they struck the Dundalk Woodwork in a tense clash at the Carlisle Grounds. The Seagulls had two early opportunities when first Gary McCabe drilled a shot just wide of the target from the edge of the box. Then on 12 minutes across from Jay Kelly on the left was miscued off the knee of striker John Flood and onto the crossbar with keeper Ryan Coulter beaten. The dog managed to settle and went close to breaking the deadlock when Chris Turner sent in a perfect cross from the right for Darren Manstrom to get in a shot deflected for a corner by Chris Deans. Then an excellent switch of passes between Manstrom and Declan O'Brien enabled Harpal Singh to get in a cross from the left. O'Brien with the header which rebounded off the woodwork for safety. Visitors should really have taken the lead on 38 minutes when midfielder George O'Callaghan found an opening for Mansrum, but his effort was brilliantly pushed away by goalkeeper Chris O'Connor. Bray did have a chance to break the deadlock when a ball down the left by Dane Massey allowed Kelly to get in another dangerous cross, only for Flood's header to hit the bar. After O'Connor had saved well from Declan O'Brien from close range, the dog at last took the lead on 43 minutes. An O'Callaghan cross from the left was cleverly flicked home from just six yards by the very alert O'Brien. in out of time in the first half when referee Anthony Buttermer adjudged that Dundalk defender Simon Kelly had taken down Jake Kelly inside the box. It seemed a harsh decision but winger Kelly made absolutely no mistake with his spot kick. Honours even at the break. <laughs> Dundalk started brightly in the second half. Mansrum involved in the build-up. Kelly's shot was well blocked. Chris Shields almost had the Seagulls in front on 67 minutes. After accepting a pass from Massey on the left, he let Fry from 25 yards with the ball striking the crossbar. From the rebound, substitute Gareth Coughlin drove tamely into the arms of the keeper. Bray again hit the woodwork when substitute John Mulroy provided a perfect ball for striker Paul Byrne in 80 minutes only to see his angle shot rebound off the upright. Simon Kelly then received his first yellow card for a challenge just outside the box. And he was then shown the red card at 85 minutes after a midfield foul on Bray winger Gary McCabe. Bray had one last chance to win it in the closing minutes, but Coulter was equal to the shot. So a share of his points at the Carlisle grounds. Bray probably feel they could have won it, but one all was the final score. Everyone's new to each other. The manager's new to all the players, well, bar a few. And I think, you know, it takes, I would have said, six, seven games till things really settle into a pattern. And we're very light on the squad wise. I think we've only 14 players or whatever it is. So we haven't got much options if there's one or two injuries, which we have at the minute. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be tough, you know, to, to, to stay up there. But I think it, I still think a top four finish in this league is, is, is definitely within this squad. Over the port past uh, couple of weeks you know the boys have had a lot of football and uh, they've had a lot of possession and w worked hard in the games that they've played in so 
overall they've worked really hard and I think today they were a wee bit tired and jaded. Uh, so it's all about getting rested up and going into the, the, the cup tie on Monday night. I feel it's two points dropped, you know. Um, this league's tough enough, you know, when you, when you get an opportunity to get maximum points, you have to take it. And unfortunately, we didn't tonight or today. Mm, Colm, uh, big question marks about the uh, penalty award. And I know Dundalk were unhappy with the um, mm. award of that penalty. What was your opinion yeah, on this one? I, I definitely don't think it's a penalty now. I might be a little bit biased as, as part of the uh, half centre half union. union, yeah. But, I mean, he does handle it. First of all, I think it's outside the box when he handles it. Um, and second of all, he actually goes in to tackle with his feet. He, he gets a good contact on it with his feet. I think you can see it here. He gets a good contact on it, so it bounces back up and hits his hand. Very, very harsh. I, I definitely wouldn't have Although, given Although, in the referee's uh, defence, he kind of slides into the box and he is, the ball is touching his arm as he's in the box. And No defence, Colm. No? <laughs> no defence. Great tackle. Great tackle. Where do you put your arms? Can't go in like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Nah, it was outside. Well, regards of being outside the box, that would be difficult. To, to, to determine, but I mean, it was a great tackle. It was, it was a great recovery tackle. He had to come right across. His, his, his body, the momentum took him in. Where do you put your arms? Richie, the forwards union. I don't think it was a penalty. Really? Yeah, sure, I really honestly don't. I know that, that we have a better view there than the referee had at, at the time. We've had a couple of replays of it, but the, 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 the ball did touch the player's hand. There was nothing obvious from the footage that suggested it was a deliberate moving from his hand. As Roddy said, where does he put his hands? Mm. Um, and that the footage clears up that the initial touch of the, of the ball was outside the so box. So if anything, a free kick on the edge of the box? Yeah, and even then it would have been harsh. I mean, it was a legitimately yeah. good, well-timed tackle. Mm. In terms of the actual game itself, though, Colm, I mean, we know that the woodwork in uh, yeah. Carlisle Grounds is sturdy because it, <laughs> it took a right on slot. It's been tested, yeah. Um, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I was talking to um, Sean Connor after the game, and I think he was a little bit upset, maybe. And on the other hand, he was actually relieved to get away with a point. I mean, they probably would have deserved to come away with a little bit more than until the sending off. And once the sending off happened, Bray dominated and they hit the post about three or four times in, in the last ten minutes. And, you know, they, Dundalk were very lucky to get away with anything. Mm. All right. Well